Olympic diving might seem like a simple plunge, but it has more than what meets the eye. In this video today, we're going to talk about the science behind Olympic diving. This is in-depth research, so make sure to watch closely. The moment you leap from the diving board, you're defying gravity and physics. And if you're a professional, you're defying physics and gravity gracefully. It requires an enormous amount of control and precision with your technique. They are just as important as physical strength and mental focus. There are a lot of things that go into Olympic diving. That has the perfect blend of physics, biomechanics, physiology as well as psychology. The physics behind Olympic diving. The physics of Olympic diving involves understanding the physical principles that govern the movement of the diver and the dive itself. This includes analyzing the forces acting on the diver, such as gravity and air resistance, as well as the principles of motion and energy. One of the key concepts in the physics of diving is angular momentum, which is the product of the diver's rotational speed and the mass of the body. This determines the diver's trajectory and rotation during the dive. Additionally, the principle of conservation of angular momentum states that the angular momentum of the diver will remain constant during the dive as long as no external force are acting on the diver. Other physics concepts that are important in diving include the center of mass and angular velocity. The center of mass is the point at which the diver's mass is concentrated and is affected by the position of the arms and legs. Angular velocity is the rate at which the diver is rotating and is impacted by the speed of the dive. Overall, the goal of physics research in diving is to improve the understanding of the physical principles that govern the diver's movement and to use this knowledge to optimize dive performance. The use of technology such as video analysis and motion capture can also provide valuable insights into the physical principles of diving. The physiological aspect of Olympic diving. The physiological science of Olympic diving involves understanding the physical demands of the sport and how the body adapts to those demands. This includes understanding the mechanics of the dive, the training and conditioning required to perform dives safely and effectively, and the potential for injury. Additionally, the physiological effects of diving on the body, such as changes in muscle mass and cardiovascular function, are also studied. Overall, the goal is to optimize performance while minimizing the risk of injury. The Biomechanic Aspect of Olympic Diving The biomechanics of Olympic diving involves the study of how the body moves and the forces that act upon it during a dive. This includes analyzing the dive's techniques, the diver's body position and the trajectory of the dive. Biomechanical research in diving can help coaches and athletes understand how to improve dive performance and reduce the risk of injury. Additionally, the use of technology such as video analysis and motion capture can provide valuable insights into a diverse technique. Overall, the goal of biomechanical research in diving is to optimize performance and safety. The psychological aspect of Olympic diving. The psychology of Olympic diving involves understanding the mental and emotional aspects of the sport. This includes the psychological preparation and training that divers go through, as well as the mental and emotional challenges they face. Some of the key psychological factors that can affect a diver's performance include self-confidence, motivation, focus and emotional regulation. Divers may also experience anxiety or pressure related to competition and the ability to manage these emotions can be critical to their performance. Coaches and sports psychologists may work with divers to help them develop strategies for managing their emotions, building confidence and staying focused during competition. Overall, the goal of psychological research in diving is to help divers perform at their best by developing their mental skills and the ability to manage their emotions. The goal of this science is to help divers to achieve their full potential and excel in their sport. Now let's look at the artistic and technical aspects of Olympic diving. There are two main aspects of Olympic diving, they are technical and artistic. The technical aspect of diving involves the execution and execution of the dive itself. This includes the diver's takeoff, flight and entry into the water, as well as the various twists, turns and somersaults that are performed during the dive. The technical aspect also includes the diver's body position, alignment and control throughout the dive, as well as the use of proper technique to minimize drag and maximize speed and power. The artistic aspect of diving involves the overall presentation and performance of the dive. This includes the diver's style, grace and expression, as well as the overall aesthetic of the dive. 
The artistic aspect also includes the use of music, costumes, and lighting to enhance the overall performance. Both the technical and artistic aspects are important in Olympic diving as they are both taken into account when scoring a dive. Divers must master the technical aspects of diving in order to execute the dive safely and accurately, and they must also be able to express themselves artistically in order to create a beautiful spectacle. A diver needs to closely monitor his movements and study the physical and psychological aspects that go into the sport. It allows the athlete to perform their best and achieve the spectacle that wows the audience. From the takeoff on the diving board to the entry into the water, every movement and position of the diver's body is calculated and executed with precision and accuracy. The science of Olympic diving is not only about understanding how to execute a dive, but also about how to train the body and mind to perform under extreme pressure. It takes a lot of practice to know how to manage the physical and mental demands of the competition. Competing in the Olympics is enough to stress an average athlete out, so there are diverse topics that can help an athlete give their best without mental blockages. Now let's look at some of the most notable Olympic divers. Greg Luganis of the United States, who won four Olympic gold medals and one silver, diving in the 1984 and 1988 Olympics. He is considered one of the greatest divers of all time. Another is Ian Thorpe from Australia, who won five Olympic medals, including three gold medals in the 2000 and 2004 Olympics. All these divers have achieved great success in the Olympics and have made significant contributions to the sport. Now, if we look at what Greg Luganis has to say about the sport, it is in sync with my research. He has also set multiple world records throughout his career. Luganis has spoken publicly about the importance of proper technique, training, and mental focus in diving. He also emphasized the importance of visualization and mental preparation in achieving success in diving. He also has spoken about the importance of staying physically and mentally healthy and taking care of oneself both on and off the diving board. He has also talked about the importance of having a positive attitude and the role that mindset plays in achieving success in diving. Fu Mingxia has not commented about diving in any of her interviews, but she was known for her focus, dedication and determination in training and competition. She was also known for her consistency in her diving performances and her ability to perform under pressure. She was considered one of the most successful Chinese female divers in the history of the sport and has set an example for many young divers to follow. Ian Thorpe's words, as a successful athlete, has spoken about the importance of hard work, dedication and consistency in training in order to achieve success in any sport. He has also talked about the importance of setting goals, visualizing success and having a positive attitude in competition. He has also spoken about the importance of mental preparation and the role that mindset plays in achieving success in sports. Thank you so much for watching. If you subscribe to me, I'll be glad as I took a lot of time to create this content. If you want me to make more videos about anything, let me know in the comment section below and leave your thoughts as well. I'm open to criticism. Have a great day.